Got a breaking news alert coming out of Scioto County, Ohio. A surprising announcement in the Groves trial. The Groves, the couple, facing 11 felony counts, including the murder of their son, Dylan, who was just six months old. Dylan killed, found in a 30-foot well. News Channel 3's Kelsey Soto joins us now from outside the courthouse. And Kelsey, Jessica Groves' lawyer made a shocking announcement today. I think it was hard for a lot of people to believe, but Jessica and Daniel Groves are being represented separately, but being tried together. Earlier this morning in the opening statements, we heard from attorney Robert Stratton, who is representing Jessica, who tells the jury she will take the stand and admit to killing baby Dylan, as well as taking responsibility for all of the fractures found on his body. Now, we've already heard from several witnesses today. The first one this morning was a nurse from the Southern Ohio Medical Center who recalls the morning of January 10th when Jessica came in, appeared hearing under the influence but not showing any signs of pain and refusing to answer the staff's questions or submit a urine sample. Finally, husband Daniel told them she was always too high to attend prenatal appointments and she had used heroin just two days prior to the baby's birth. Attorney Stratton admits Jessica was and is a drug addict and she is ready to take ownership for her actions. Right ask, why put everybody through this ordeal? Why put everybody through this trauma? The answer is because she's going to do the right thing right now. And that right thing is to take personal responsibility for her crimes and sins. And that right thing also is to protect and defend an innocent man. Now, both defense attorneys say Daniel Groves was not responsible for the death or kidnapping of his son. This trial will last through the rest of the week. We did learn that, according to the attorneys, Daniel Groves found his son unresponsive on March 28th. I'll continue to live tweet throughout this case. You can follow me on Twitter. And, of course, we'll have more updates for you tonight on WSAZ First Look at 4. Back to you guys.